So when I ask, why are we always voting Democrat and we never give the other party a chance? I was told that we were pretty much forced into voting Democrat 60 years ago or so by these people. But then I wonder, I wonder how we end up getting confused into thinking it was the Republican Party who got us involved in this. And it wasn't. American Experience. Grant. Reconstruction and the KKK from the collection, the president. At the time of Ulysses S. Grant's election to the presidency, white supremacists were conducting a reign of terror throughout the South. An outright defiance, an outright defiance of the Republican-led federal government, Southern Democrats formed organizations that violently intimidated blacks and Republicans who tried to win political power. The most prominent of these, the Ku Klux Klan, was formed in Pulaski, Tennessee in 1865. Originally founded as a social club for former Confederate soldiers, the Klan evolved into a terrorist organization. It would be responsible for thousands of deaths and would help to weaken the political power of Southern blacks and Republicans. Racist activity in the South often took the form of riots and targeted blacks and Republicans. In 1866, a quarrel between whites and black ex-soldiers erupted into a full-fledged riot in Memphis, Tennessee. White policemen assisted the mobs in their violent rampage through the black sections of town. By the time of violence, by the time of violence, by the time the violence ended, 46 people were dead, 70 more were wounded, and numerous churches and schools had been burned. Just two months later, on July 30th, a similar outbreak of violence erupted in New Orleans. This time, a white mob attacked the attendees of a black suffrage convention, killing 37 blacks and three whites who allied with them. In this violent atmosphere, the Ku Klux Klan grew in size and strength. By 1868, the Klan had evolved into a hooded terrorist organization that <clears throat> terrorist organization that its members called the Invisible Empire of the South. The reorganized Klan's first leader, or Grand Wizard, was Nathan Bedford Forrest, who had been a Confederate general during the Civil War. <laughs> yeah, that part. White Southerners from all classes of society joined the Klan's ranks in the name of preserving law and order in white-dominated society. Klansmen punished newly freed blacks for, for a variety of reasons, including behaving in an impudent manner towards whites. They whipped the teachers of freedmen's schools and burnt their schoolhouses. But first and foremost, the Klan sought to do away with Republican influence in the South and by terrorizing and murdering its party leaders and all those who voted for it. Hmm. In the time leading up to the 1868 presidential election, the Klan's activities picked up in speed and brutality. The election, sound familiar? The election which pitted Republican Ulysses S. Grant against Democrat Horatio Seymour was, crit was crucial. Republicans would continue programs that prevented Southern whites from gaining political control in their state's Klan. Klan members knew that given the chance the blacks in their communities would vote Republican. <laughs> Yo, I could read on. All right, we're gonna kill it for now. So what does all this mean? Hmm. I can tell you what it means for me. It's not really shocking. Uh, the reason why it's not shocking to me is because I already had the understanding that that is not the only thing that the Ku Klux Klan shares with black people. They also share the love of Jesus and the religion Christianity. And when you uh, think about that, you know, it's kind of crazy because, you know, it sounds to me like you would you would come and burn a cross in my yard on Friday night, kill me on Saturday night, and then go to church on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, crazy. And if you're still with me to this point, I just want to say thank you. Um, the channel is undergoing some changes. I had to take a bunch of content off of the channel because 
it wasn't in uh, compliance with YouTube anymore and they demonetized me for that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with starting over, but I want to do more, more content that actually means something anyway. So here's a fresh start. And if you're still with me, I appreciate it. Catch you next time. Then salute. Thank you.